Hey everybody, this is Josh from J4 Paintball. Today we're going to get down and replace the solenoid in the J4 Torque. This will show you how to get in the gun in general. And it's actually pretty easy all in all. We only use two Allen wrenches, our 1 8 and our 5 64ths as you have them here in your Allen wrench kit. First thing of course, degas the gun, cycle it, make sure there's no air in the system, remove the barrel, take off the screws here on the grip frame, this again, 564th Allen wrench. Come in here and disconnect the eye wires and disconnect the solenoid. This is a customer's gun, as you see, so this is uh, actually one that we're repairing and putting back into the service here. After this, you take off the rear plug. You're going to notice that this customer here, features markers well lubed. We don't need to take out the drive system right now. What we do need to do is, in the design of the torque, I hid all the Allen keys underneath the components in the gun. So, to get into the body, you just need to undo these two screws here. And the body comes apart fairly tight. The vise sits inside the grip frame really, really tight. Now, one thing you have to do is make sure when you're doing this, make sure these screws are not caught on the solenoids or anything else down here. Lift it out of the body softly. Watching again for your screws down here. If you need to use an Allen wrench and make sure nothing gets caught. After that, your body is disassembled from your grip frame and set the grip frame aside. To get into the switch, again down here, you have to get the switch off to get the solenoid off the gun. Mind you, this is the older setup with the Mac 33. This will probably change sometime in the near future. When you take these screws off, be careful where they fall. You might want to take them out ahead of time, but you will turn the body over real quick. And these screws will just generally fall out of your hand. So it's not something you want to do on the field. You want to be a little careful about this. As you can see, the L we have two O-rings here. And this O-ring here, this is the little 1.2 to 1.5 millimeter spacing in there that will help everything slow the air down. But that we're not dealing with that today. We'll get into that more later. Got to be careful, though, when you flip this over, these components can pop out. You can take your Allen wrench, undo the solenoid, down here you'll see the two three millimeter O-rings, these are three millimeter by one, and you just want to make sure of course you make sure everything's good down here, you have good surfacing and otherwise, and take the replacement solenoid, reuse the screws, and reassemble. Again, making sure these solenoids are in there. If you need to, a little dab of lube will help them stick inside the O-ring grooves there. Make sure these are tight, but again, don't go too tight. No need to rank them down more than just just a little more, more in finger tight there. Again, make sure these components are all in there. And if you need to, use a little, little lube in there to make them stick inside their grooves. Take the body, slide it onto the solenoid so those components don't fall out. Turn it over. Put your two earrings back in. Again, just as tight as those screws to the switch. Body is ready to be reassembled to the grip frame. Again, 
careful when you put the screws in as they uh, or the wires in as you put the body down into the grip. This will be tight along here. This is a very tight tolerance, but wears in after a few times. Make sure as you're bringing all your wires up here that they are folded nice and clean as you're assembling the body so you don't catch them. Well, this one, of course, since I'm taking a video of it being a little crumpy, but the body slides on like that. It makes a nice tight fit. After that, reassemble and you're done. That's all it takes to replace the solenoid and the J4 Torque. If you have any questions, again, follow us on j4pb.com or J4 Paintball on Facebook. In fact, that's the best way to get a hold of us. If you have any questions, we'll take care of your problems immediately. Thank you very much for watching this video.